Hey guys, RC here. We are back uh, with Climbing the Ladder. We are episode 14. I was just looking at some uh, guys coming across the scouting uh, board here. I wonder, uh, yep, cancel that offer. All right, well, so uh, since last uh, episode, we played the two matches. Santa Fjord, we lost 1-0. Gave up a goal in the 76th minute, and then we drew 1-1 with Jean Dalen, uh, Magnus Fritzl Ostman, our uh, our esteemed German. He's not German, I don't think, is he? No, he's Norwegian. Okay, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, but he got the uh, he got the equalizer for us in the 85th minute to uh, equalize. So currently we are still sitting in seventh position, but we have fallen off the pace. We are now nine. No, we're only six. Well, six, six off playoffs. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, how's our uh, how's our reputation doing? We're full star. Uh, we are still shit at coaching. We have not gotten any better. Um, hmm. Technical, attacking, man management. I really, I do not understand the nuances that go into improving your abilities. I have no clue. So if you have any idea, let me know in the comments. But let's get to the matches. All right, so today we are at home. We're even favorites against uh, Barham. And uh, we have a bunch of guys ineligible and unregistered and Safarth is suspended. So let's see. We're going to go back to this tactic. I did play our old tactic uh, in the uh, two last two games. So we're going to come back to the new tactic that we, we crafted up here. Uh, let's see. Stormer and left center. Really don't have any centers, do I? All right, we're gonna play. Uh, we're gonna play nuts in there, I suppose. Uh, in fact, you know what? Let's. Uh, he can pass. I'm gonna give nuts in the start for Ulleberg. I don't know why. Just I feel it, and uh, we are gonna go with that. Yep, yep. That's what we're going with. Damn it. There we go. All right. I, you know, I really don't know if I want to finish in the playoffs. We are struggling so bad. I, I don't know if I want to make the... I mean, you know, I guess it would be good for our reputation, but... All right, Jolstet with the throw-in <coughs> for Barham. Oh, that's not good. Our center back's waving his arms like, somebody do something. And my question to him would be, why didn't you do something? Of course, it would be in Norwegian, and, you know, I don't know what that would sound like. All right, Nilsson drives it. He shoots from range, and that's not a good finish. All right, well, push forward, I guess. Oh, is there a penalty? Yes, a penalty. Hey, who's taking it? Oh, Sue. And he misses another one. <laughs> oh, my God, that's two in a row. That's two penalties in a row he's missed. And he's our best penalty taker on our squad. Yep, yep, yep. 6.4 for missing a penalty. That's that's brutal. That is brutal. So we've had possession. All right. Let's uh let's go look at the tactic here. All right. Let's work the ball into the box. Let's try that. 
only for a half. I'm just eight shots, only one on target. And I'm going to make you a target man. And I'm going to drop you out to a winger. I know you can play the inverted better, but I want you staying outside. Uh, and Dovland, let's put you on attack. I just need more players up in that final third. Uh, it was disappointing. Uh, da, da, da. Show some passion. Oh, they're fired up. Except for Uraga, he's frustrated. He's like, wait, what? The, the gaffer's yelling at me. All right. <laughs> Selniz, woo, he shoots that one up into the stands. I think somebody uh, had thrown him a fiver for a souvenir. A hula. Oh, look at that through ball. Nobody's there. They just it parted like the Red Sea. Encourage. All right, you're frustrated. Well, Hawkins for Oren. Then Nilsson for Nesham. Let's do that. Let's get some fresh legs up top. Demand more. Ahola. Oh, I wonder if he's uh, Hawaiian. All right. Defensive header over to Selnis. Why is he? Okay. Crossed in. Not good. Uraga. All right. Into Valterson in the corner. Crossed in. There's a volley that goes skyward. Hmm. Christensen Hal. Sue has not been performing well. Well. We had, what, eight shots at halftime with one on target. So now we have eight shots with two on target in the second half. I'm not liking this tactic, guys. I mean, you know, we're not getting blown out or anything, but still. Oh, man. What if... Let's clear this slot. I didn't save that either, so... Huh? All right. Let's do, let's do a gig and press. All right. And we've got, I don't have three center backs. I've only got two. Nope. Maybe. Yeah, nope. Uh, four. I'm thinking no on that one. Four, one. Three, two. That's interesting. But you know what? I think I'm gonna go here. All right, higher, much higher. You know, I get. We'll go. We'll go with that. I don't mind that. Tell you what, I'm gonna leave all this default. Counter, counter, press, short kicks. Play out of defense, high tempo, direct passing into space, prevent short goalkeeper. Why not? I mean, we actually were pretty good with the mental side.
Now I got to remember a lot of our guys are not rested right now, so they wouldn't be. We'll take another look at this. So, all right, well, I'll see you guys back here for the next match. All right, guys, we are back. I have a little bit of news. All right, so let's take a look at this tactic again now that it's game day. All right. Yeah, so, I mean, we actually fill out all the boxes. What were we saying? All right, so new tactic. We're not very familiar with it, but we have the mentality, passing style, creative freedom, and pressing. We're competent in the width and the tempo. Yeah, I mean, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. I am going to drop these guys to central defenders on defend just because. And we're playing higher, not as high as possible, no offsides trap, very minimal instructions. It looks like we fit the positions relatively well. All right, let's take a look. We do have a transfer somewhere. Uh, yeah. All right. Vidian Avenel. This guy, he's got one hell of a commute. Let me tell you. He is a Guadalupean international with four caps and two goals for Guadalupe. I actually had to look that up. I've heard of it. I just didn't know where it was. It's a, it's a small island in an island chain that runs from the east side of Puerto Rico down to the, uh, South America, uh, continent so uh yeah it's way out there in the middle of the ocean small island uh so he's going to be coming all the way to norway i'm thinking from the caribbean to norway there's going to be a little culture shock and the dude probably has to buy a coat just guessing just guessing but uh he's a pretty good target man he's got very good physicals he's got 15 finishing uh the first touch is not as good as some of our guys but he's got the best finishing Really good free kick taking. He's 6'2". He can head the ball. He can actually jump. Um, and he's got a 7 in penalty taking. So that's going to put him right up there in our penalty taking group. Just thinking. So he may be our new striker. Nilsson may be going to the bench. I am concerned. Hmm. All right. Uh... This is the one we've been playing. So you know what? I want to keep this one. Let's look at something else. I'm going to clear this slot. And then I want to create a new tactic. And I want to play with the Gagan Press again. But I want... I don't want that. I don't want that. That's don't think I want that. No, don't want that either. I really want two strikers. No. Or maybe Maybe that one? Kind of like that. Let's go ahead and take that one. All right. So we've got wingers. We've got fullbacks. Central defenders. A goalkeeper. Let's see what that looks like. All right. So a little weak here, but that's because we're playing two deep guys and two wingers. That's fine. All right. Higher, much higher. Again, no offsides. Trap. Counter press. Pass into space. I kind of like the idea of this one, guys. It's 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 similar shape wise to the other tactic, but it's a true Gagan press. It gets us into. Oh, our new striker's not here yet. He's uh he was on international duty, right? All right. But you know what? If we take a look at this, eh, mentality's a little lower. I like the two striker setup though. Honestly, I think two strikers is is the way to go in in FM20. That's what it seems to be at least. Don't know. 
Uh, we also just brought in another guy on loan. Um, if we sign him, I will show him to you next episode. I've got him in on a two-week loan. And that's something, if you're not familiar, do that a lot. Bring the guys in on loan. In fact, let's look at him. Uh, he's not available, so we'll unmark that. All right, so here he is, Jeff Middleton. He is a uh, English striker. So if you bring him in, you know, you can wait to get him scouted. But if you bring him in on trial, you'll actually get uh, pretty solid rating looks. And, and I bring him in for two weeks. Uh, so we know he's pacey acceleration. He does not have very good finishing. Um, good first touch. So maybe he would be more suited as a winger. We'll see what his crossing looks like. And that may decide if we bring him in or not. So anyway, all right, we are slight underdogs, inconsistent form. And we'll go ahead and ask our coach here. And then let's just kind of peek through here. All right, so Middle, Middleton would actually be our number two guy. Uh, Avenel is on international duty. He'll be back to later today. Um and we have to we have to register him. So I'm gonna have to look and see who we're gonna drop. Uh, it, oh, Middleton. Uh, but Avenel's not available till tomorrow. Nesham. All right, Malm and Otsman are on the bench, so I'm okay there. Walterson, sure. Meekin. You know what? I'm gonna put. Uh, I'm gonna give Hale the start. Meekin has not been playing great. Where's uh, Where is he at? By the way, a six five two. He played a six eight last one, but he's got a couple of man performances down. You know, down there in the in the thick of things. So let's let's give him a start. See what he can do. All right, Doblin and Sue are up top. Uh, Uranga's on international duty, so that sucks. Uh, Safarth. Um, where's, what's Hawkson? I don't even see Hawkson in the freaking list. Oh, there he is right there. Duh. Um, you know what? I'm going to bring Akinola in the middle. Let's put Hawkson on the outside. And Hawkins is suspended. Overguard is unregistered. I wanted him registered, but remember I said that was one of the guys that we had to uh, kind of make some decisions with. All right, let's go ahead and go with this. I think my son fell asleep, so if you hear snoring in the background, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pressure's off. Yeah, whatever, man. All right. Quick highlight. All right, some quick passing here. Good save by Venedic. Magnuson, he got all the way into the box. Now, we don't have tighter marking on so uh oh no oh, good block oh good defense and a slow he's able to get up from a tackle and beat two defenders to the ball that's pretty shitty all right balterson lays it back to dublin he plays it over the top. Nesham, he might have been on sides. Maybe. I think he was, oh, no, off sides. I saw it at the bottom. <laughs> All right, my right back just got toasted. We'll call, we'll call him toast because he just got burnt. All right, Hjort. Oh, Benedict could not get enough behind that one. Espen Sigurdsson. 
with the goal. All right. Um, I'm thinking four shots, clear chances. All right. I want to pop in. Let's uh, let's mark tighter, right? We're not using offside, so let's mark tighter. Uh, the snoring episode. That's hilarious. I guess I should unpause it here. All right, Hawkson into Sue. Squares it into Dovland. He plays it outside. Oh, tackled away by Aronson. He plays it over the top. Magnuson, and we're going to have a penalty, and Safarth might get sent off. He get, does pick up a yellow. He's got 11 on the season. Aronson. Oh, our keeper goes the wrong way. And it's 2-0. And we look like shit. And their fans are happy in their yellow seats. Because they all live in the yellow seats. Come on, guys. Headed out. Good block. Oh, my God. Jesus. All right. Hold on. Time out. Sound the alarm. All right. We're going to switch over to this tactic. <laughs> At least I know that tactic is, is not a leaky ship. Gee whiz, 3-0 in 17 minutes. I mean, that's that's an ass whipping. A bruised shin. Suck it up, buttercup. All right, Benedict makes the save there. Quick ball out. Nesham tackled away. Hawkson. Akinola kicks it down to nobody on our team. Magnuson over the top again. Venedict gets a fingertip on it, just enough to flick it wide. Sets up another corner. So let's see, nine shots to zero. We suck. I mean, we were slight underdogs, right? We're not playing an offsides. Holy fuck! What the hell? Um, I I don't think he was on sides, but look where he shoots from. Top bins. Holy crap. Um, yeah. Oh, you know what? We are using the trap on this one. Ah, damn it. All right, let's go there. Do, 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 do. Um, throw it long. Distribute to fullbacks. Yep. All right, well, that's my fault. Switching to a tactic and not going in and double checking all the freaking fine details. All right, well, son of a bitch, man. He was just eating us alive. All right, Valterson, Akinola. He plays it through the channel. Nilsson runs onto it. He tries to cross it. Oh, no, our guys could not get a foot on it. All right. Oh, he's got to be offside, right? Yeah. He's just out of practice. Nesham hasn't played up top because we've been playing at one up top. Oh, God, he was offsides by about a half mile. All right. I'm hoping he can make it to uh, – it was a Bruce shin. So we'll sub him off here at the half. All right. Dublin. Well, I might sub him off. Defensive. All right, Hawkson, we'll bring him up. 
And then that's going to need defensive left. That'll be Rollin. So Rollin will be in for him. All right, pep talk. Disappointing. You two guys don't get another yellow card. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. How was he offsides? Yeah, I get eh, Okay, I guess. My God. Shit. Show some freaking passion. My goodness. All right, Safarth goes over the top. Nilsson makes the run, and he parks it out in left center field. Baseball reference for those of you that were not aware. At least we got some shots. Gee whiz. All right, Kirsten Hale is dead. Uh, Meekin, I guess, will be coming on for him. What happened to him? What we got? Lower leg injury. Probably out for four months. Aronson picks up an injury for them. Come on, boys. Uh-oh. Sue plays it in. Nilsson. Nope, nobody's there. Oh, and that goes wide of the mark. We're just not uh, we're just not interested today, I don't think. Uh, demand more. All right, Meekum plays it through. Valterson. Damn it! Somebody find the net. Wow. No, we're just heading it all over the park. Just not in the direct. Have you ever seen that? Uh, there's a thing on Facebook. Um, and uh, it shows the fans. They're all behind the net. And they all have like little cards. And they're, you know, the cards have an arrow on it. And they're running back and forth to show the, the team where the net is. That's what I need. I, I, I need that. <laughs> All right, let's see. Defensive right. All right, yep, let's bring Oren on for Selnas. It's fine, whatever. Oh, they could have dinked it over the keeper there. Come on, we deserve that one. Larson could have given us an opportunity. Gee whiz. All right, a chest down by Akinola. Deep into the corner to Meekin. Crossed in, a header, and off target. Nilsson is struggling, man. All right, well, next match we, well, okay. So we went back to our old tried and true. Remember we were down nine shots to zero? And now we've had 17 shots to nine with eight on target so and seven chances created so executive decision i am just going with this tactic the rest of the season it's only a couple of games right but that suck i i don't appreciate the efforts um yep nothing specific yep well whatever you can lose focus i think you lost focus before the kickoff all right well so that was those we'll play these two off camera we'll come back for the season finale against uh two clubs that'll probably make the playoffs ham cams in god dang second third first and fourth is that a crappy run-in or what that's a crappy run-in i play the top four teams in the table yeah 
I can only get to 39, so we're out of the playoffs. Now we're at 33, so we could actually finish tied with Skied or Skied. I think goal differential would get us through. I mean, even if we lost two in a row, four nil, I think it would be all right. But I need points, man. I need points. Oh, we have four matches, don't we? Oh, we can still get relegated. Shit. Yeah, I got four matches. I could still get relegated. I guess I could technically still make the playoffs. All right, guys. Well, hit the sympathy like button. I don't know if they have one of those. So that little thumbs up thing, it's a sympathy like button. Go ahead and hit that for me if you don't mind. Uh, subscribe if you're new or haven't gotten around to it. Thank you so much for uh, hanging out. If you made it this far, I uh, appreciate the support, guys. Always do. Always do. Have a good one, and we will talk to you later. Bye. Hey, guys. Just an addendum to the episode. Uh, I decided I just didn't want to play anymore. <laughs> so uh, we lost 3-1 to Frederickstad, 1-0 to Ham Cam. So I said, screw it. We're just going to finish out. And, you know, we were playing the top four clubs. Uh, Tromsdale beat us 2-1. to one, And uh, we drew 2-2 two -two with Sandnez. They were fourth in the table. Uh, Glenn Nesham and Christian Nielsen both ended scoring droughts uh, it, down the stretch. Uh, if we take a look, the end of season awards, Christian Nielsen, 61% fans of the uh, player of the season. Magnus Fritzel Ostman was the goal of the season. Balterson, the signing of the season. <coughs> and Nilsson was the young player of the season. Uh, they sliced our payroll budget down to about what we were spending this year right now at 42000 Transfer budget of twenty nine seven. dollars uh, They expect us to avoid relegation next year. Uh, maximum of one-year contracts for players over the age of 32. Well, that's new because they don't want us to sign players over 30. And I've been working within the payroll budget. We've just been still losing money, but that's that's okay. Uh, the end of season meeting went well, although we did have uh, uh, a, a meeting uh, where the club was unhappy. Uh, but this was uh, also Christian Nielsen scored 20 goals in the league, setting a new club record. Uh, our big player that was injured in the first year with the club, Redar Furaseth, scored 16 goals. Valterson had 11 assists, breaking Robert Craddock's record of nine. And we've traded, we've sold a couple of players on freeze. Uh, Atlee Strom is going off to Dalvinick Rainier on a free. And uh, the other guy, uh, Robert Craddock, also goes to Dalvik Rainier on a free. And our backup keeper, Johan Line Stormer, goes to Dalvik Rainier on a free. So we're getting raided by uh, by this club. And I don't know what league they're in. Iceland, okay. Uh, so yeah, so they raided us uh, pretty hard and took uh, three players. So that's interesting. And uh, so we were not able to register Avenel and Middleton, but they will be joining us for next season. Uh, so we will come back with uh, transfer news um, and uh, and then some action. Now, I'm curious. We're still only one star reputation. We've been here. This was our first year in Obos, Obos Ligan. And we finished ninth. So we stayed up, which is good. I mean, you know, we were we were newly promoted. We won silverware. I don't know if I stay up. I mean, this is three years now. Do we do we maybe try to move on? Um, I'm signed for another year. Uh, let's see. Make sure we're only looking at club. Yeah. All right. So if we look at, we could drop down 
and try to come back up again. Or we could try to leave here completely. I mean, you know, let's see. Second division is number 67. Hello. Oh, no, that's where we came from. Division two. That's. Yes, Obos Lee, and that's that's where we're at, I think. I don't know. I don't know. It's not letting me click on that, though. Competition, Obos Ligan, number 39. Why was that so difficult? So this is in Europe, right? I mean, this has to be all of Europe because you have Spain here, Cyprus, Serbia, Sweden, so this has to be all of Europe. So we're number 39. So it's actually a pretty good level league, right? Nilsson, 19 goals in 30 matches, 12 and 25, 12 and 25 last year. He had a really good year. He's been a good signing for us. Um, let's go back to job security so I you know the one and a half would probably be the highest we could get I don't think we would have a shot at those Poland Iceland Pepsi League. I don't drink Pepsi. I drink Coke. I'm a Coke guy. You know? Oh, you know what? Look, Germany in the third Liga. That's number 58. Just out of curiosity, they're professional. Oh, my God. I'm tempted. I'm tempted to just apply for those jobs. Now, are they going down? Lubeck, Mimigan, Lubeck, Mimigan. Lubeck, Mimigan. They're both right down at the bottom. So Lubeck's actually overperforming right now. And what's the rules? How many games do they play? 20 teams, 38 games. So they got 22 games left. Probably have a transfer window. I wouldn't mind going back up to England. Hmm. Borumwood, the Bonorama National League. I think there's there's some stuff that we could do here. I, I just don't know if I should resign. Yeah, let's go for that job. No, <laughs> Milan. Um we have a couple more in H and W walking, very insecure. Denmark, Leeds, yeah. That's always the goal, get to Leeds if I can earn my way. So there's a few jobs. We've been here three years. My problem is, is with, with FM20 right now, and I don't know, I've been reading some stuff that it's the, the match engine. Oh, Molta is available. Hey, um... Now, I have to remember, Molda's a pretty good club. They're fifth in the top division. We signed up with them as a senior partner, a senior affiliate, late last season, and we weren't able to take advantage of any transfers. So that's a possibility. We could go with some transfer players. 
I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm really, really tempted. The locker room's fallen, team cohesion. Now, this could be because we've signed new people. I don't know. This is because we've been losing. But, I mean, the leadership support, the players are happy to have me here. Um, Morton Sorensen. Oh, that was early in the season. Get over it, dude. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I do have the new strikers coming in. We've got Avenel coming in. You know what? I think, I think I'm going to stay unless I get another offer. I'm not going to seek a job, but if I get an offer, I mean, I think we did a pretty good job staying up. We were supposed to get relegated, right? Season preview. Yeah, I mean, we were 225 and we finished mid-table. So, hell yeah, I'm happy with that. I mean, we finished ninth. Okay, not quite mid-table, but, you know, close. I think we did an okay job for our first year up. I'm going to stay for another year unless I get a job offer somewhere else. We've got the affiliation to get some, some lo uh, loan players next year. We've got the two new strikers coming in. Um, I'm going to go through and cull some dead weight. The worst thing is I can't sell anybody at this level, which sucks. So, you know, that is what it is. But I haven't been able, you know, I had that one player that we sold. So, well, let's put a bow on the season. Again, I will be back at Hall, uh, at Halgen for next year. Hall Sin, not Halgen. Halson for next season, unless I get another job offer. And we'll hit transfers. We'll see what kind of players we can get on loan. And we'll see if we can improve on this. Because, I mean, you know, even though we're struggling, it makes it a little more realistic from other versions where you can, you know, plug a tactic and go, you know, and win, you know, 35 of 38 games or whatever. So, um while it is disappointing, this is still a relatively good season for what was expected. They just wanted us to fight bravely against relegation, and then I agreed to that bullshit. Um, and they're still only 50%. So, I mean, we met expectations, right? Hello. So, yeah, we'll see you next season, guys. Have a good one. Bye.